Royal Deeside hosts several castles and impressive country houses. On the Aberdeen to Bankry Road at the Mains of Drum is one of the most imposing, Drum Castle. For centuries, Drum Castle has been the seat of Clan Irvine. The castle has been owned by the National Trust for Scotland since it was gifted to the Trust in 1976 by the 24th Laird of Drum. It's open to the public and has been a Category A listed building since 1987. Drum Castle began life as a 13th century tower house which is believed to have been designed by Richard Sementarius, mason to King Alexander III of Scotland. Richard the Mason, as he was known, also designed the historic Brigobogowney in Old Aberdeen. The tower house is believed to be one of the three oldest tower houses in Scotland. Although Drum Castle has had many extensions and alterations over the years, the medieval tower has remained basically unaltered. In 1619, the tower house had a large Jacobean wing added to it. Some further additions and changes were also made during the Victorian era. The lawn we see now at the front of the castle was laid out in formal gardens, as was the style at that time. The castle and estate were granted to William de Irwin in 1323 by Robert de Bruce. William de Irwin was a relative of Bruce and also his secretary and armour bearer. During Robert de Bruce's battles with the English, William was always a close companion. A story goes that after fleeing from an English army, Bruce sought safety by hiding under a holly tree. William stood guard as the king rested. The Irvin's clan crest contains holly leaves as a reminder of this incident. William accompanied Bruce again at the famous Battle of Bannockburn in June of 1314, where, for once, the Scots were victorious. In 1323, Bruce, in appreciation of his loyal service, awarded William Drum Castle, and with it the Royal Forest of Oaks in Aberdeenshire. A small part of the ancient oak forest remains adjacent to the castle, now known as the Old Wood of Drum. The Old Wood of Drum has been designated a site of special scientific interest. This ancient wood has a documented history dating back a thousand years. It's also one of the largest of the few remaining Aberdeenshire oak woods and one of only eight woods in Grampian to show evidence of continuous forest cover throughout recorded history. The charter granting the forest to William de Irwin specified that no trees were to be felled without his permission. In later years, some oaks were felled for tanning and shipbuilding in nearby Aberdeen. And during the Second World War, it is likely that, similar to many forests in Aberdeenshire, a considerable area of woodland would have been felled for the war effort. During the religious struggles of the 17th century, Drum played a role 
in the Covenanting Rebellion, leading to its being attacked and sacked three times. Throughout the Jacobite uprisings, the Irvins of Drum stayed loyal to the Stuarts. They supported Bonnie Prince Charlie and the Jacobites in the 1745 Rising. After defeat at the Battle of Culloden in April 1746, the 17th Laird of Drum became a fugitive. He hid in a concealed chamber in the tower house while his sister Mary stalled and misdirected the searching redcoats. It's believed he remained hidden there for three years before it was safe for him to come out. In 2014, a secret room and garde robe, a medieval toilet, was discovered by archaeologists within the walls of the ancient Tower of Drum. At first, it was thought that it was in here that the 17th layer hid. It's now believed these chambers were walled up during the 1840s when the library in the medieval keep was constructed. So that's a bit of a disappointment. Alexander Forbes Irvin inherited the estate in 1861 on the death of his father. Between 1875 and 1876, he restored the courtyard and the entrances. He was also partly responsible for restoration of the chapel, which had been built on the site of an earlier church. Drum Castle was continually occupied by the Irvin clan for more than 650 years until 1976, when it was handed over to the National Trust of Scotland. The circular walk up the Hill of Drum starts from the castle car park. The farm track passes the old Wood of Drum entrance where there's a small children's play park. A little further on, a path branches off to the left. Taking this path, you are soon climbing gently through a forested area. A lot of the large trees here were brought down by Storm Arwen in November 2021. Subsequently, the estate clear-felled several areas of woodland. The felling of the trees has had the advantage of opening up the views south across the Dee Valley. The name Drum comes from the Gaelic for a ridge and you can see how appropriate that is from up here. It's believed that Drum Castle would have been built on this elevated position to monitor the comings and goings on the Elsick Mount, an ancient trackway over the Grampians from the south. This track crosses the River Dee at a ford nearby. On returning to the estate road, it's a short walk back to the castle.
Before we leave, we will have a look at the restored chapel in the castle grounds. In 1857, the west window was enlarged and a cross was added. A new roof was installed and some restoration of the interior was completed. Our visit to Drum was in the winter of 2023. The Rose Walled Garden is closed during the winter months. It reopens in spring. Keen gardeners should try and visit during the summer months. The collection of historic roses in bloom in June and July shouldn't be missed. See and learn here how horticultural fashions have changed over the centuries. Waking up in the flower bed, the sun is up, table set, we eat and drink. Body and bread, blood and wine, there's a time to live, time to die, and a time to be. Slow down. Listen for a heartbeat 